What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is on its way and it's had a bit of a longer development cycle than we first predicted. We already know tons of characters and tons of stages are returning. But what about modes? What modes could be coming back and what new modes could be created? So I'm going to be pondering 5 different modes that could potentially be coming to Smash Ultimate or just modes that I think would seem cool. With that said, let's begin. My first choice may not seem very exciting to a lot of you, but it's the return of the Stage Builder. Even though in both versions it was incredibly limited, it was one of my favorite modes in both Brawl and Super Smash Bros. on the Wii U. For Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, instead of focusing on making new stuff for the Stage Builder, they should try and combine the best elements of both Brawl's and Wii U's versions. The ability to place pre-made shapes on a grid, and all the different traps and terrain like the falling platforms or the ice in Brawl Stage Builder, then the ability to draw shapes or lava anywhere on the stage, the barrels, and the springs from Wii U's Stage Builder. Alone, each Stage Builder didn't seem like much, but their best parts combined into one version would make it something incredible. We'd have tons of variety if they went that route with it. Instead, they should focus the new stuff on the settings of the Stage Builder, all the different themes and aesthetics you could have with it, and the different types of stages. You could make scrolling stages, transforming stages, traveling stages, go all Mario Maker with it. In fact, I'd even suggest taking it one step further. Add a Target Smash Stage Builder along with it. I mean, come on, there's way too many characters to give them all unique individual stages like in Melee, and people weren't happy with the Target Blast in Wii U and 3DS. A Make Your Own Target Smash would be awesome! Number 2 is more online mode variety. Now, Wii U and 3DS took a step in the right direction, but also a step backwards in some areas. Splitting up for fun and for glory along with the free-for-all, one-on-one, and Team Smash modes was a genius idea. And Conquest and Spectate are fun little things to get you extra coins and rewards. But I think they could take it a little further with more specific lobbies. Smash Ultimate is going to sell enough to not have to worry about any lobbies being empty. So they can make lots of them. For fun and for glory modes for 1v1s, for fun and for glory modes for 3 player matches, for fun and for glory for 4 player matches, and then of course more lobbies within those for hazards on or hazards off, and items on or items off. Or better yet, just have a custom rules lobby where you can join someone's match. In fact, that might be what they're going for with trying to allow the Mii Fighters online. And while they're at it, why not allow custom stages online? Also bring back some of the online friend modes that were in Brawl like Home Run Contest or Multiman Smash. Number 3 is the return of a story mode. I know everyone wants it and it's super unlikely, but hey, we can dream, can't we? It doesn't have to be as huge or lengthy as Brawl Story Mode, anything would be nice. It would just be really fun to once again see all of our favorite characters go on a fun adventure together, especially since there aren't going to be that many cinematic trailers this time. We didn't even get a cinematic E3 trailer for this one, just the teaser trailer for the Inklings, and then of course Ridley's reveal. And even then the cinematics within them were nowhere near as long as the ones for Smash 4's trailers. So hopefully we can get some kind of a story mode for these characters we love to interact more. And with the roster almost twice the size of Brawl's which had Subspace Emissary, we get tons of unique interactions. I mean, if we don't get story mode cinematics or mini character reveal cinematics, then hopefully maybe we can at least get a cool intro cinematic. For number 4, I'm gonna take a page out of one of my favorite games from this entire decade so far, Rayman Legends. And that page would be the daily and weekly missions. They did try a bit to mess around with the idea of leaderboards with global smash power, but it didn't really go anywhere and it was hard to figure out what exactly everything meant. But for Ultimate, they could add an experience and ranking system. You'd gain experience points and climb the leaderboard by doing all sorts of different stuff. Smashing, online matches, playing around in event mode, and of course, doing the daily and weekly missions. It would get lots of players to visit the side modes more often, and it would all around just be fun. I'm kind of addicted to Rayman Legends daily and weekly challenges. I mean, I'm not obsessed or anything, but, uh, and I don't mean to brag, but, um, uh, I am in the top 200 players out of over 300,000 worldwide, and so yeah, I wonder if I could climb even higher in uh, Smash Ultimate. And number five is the ability to make custom skins. A lot of people want this, and I've even seen some really cool mock-ups online that make it look really convincing and really fun to use. And I believe this is definitely something that needs to be added. Perhaps the replacement for custom movesets since those no longer appear to be a thing. Don't quote me on that though, it's just an observation since the Mii Fighters movesets have been enhanced and supposedly finalized. So the ability to create custom skins would keep the all-around customization 
options up at the expense of custom movesets. Plus, clans or teams in competitive play could come up with their own team colors for players to use in tournaments. Now, I do see a couple problems that would make something like this difficult and may explain why they haven't done it before. For example, the character renders on the character select screen or loading screens, and then the stock icons. I'm not exactly sure how they would get those to change in favor of the custom outfits, especially the character renders. But Sakurai is creative, if he wants this he will find a way. And those are the 5 game modes that I'd love to see in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Tell me what kind of stuff you'd like to see down in the comments section below, and I'll have more Smash content coming soon. Leopold the Brave, out.